Hello guys and welcome back to my channel Firewall Gan. Today I am going to show you what is spoofing, anti spoofing, what is IP spoofing, uh, how we can configure same in checkpoint world, in a checkpoint firewall, in a checkpoint gateway. So as I said, we are going to learn about spoofing. Then anti spoofing and then IP spoofing. Okay, so let's understand what is spoofing. So, definition wise, spoofing is an online attack where the cyber attackers change the address or the source of a packet with the intent to make it seem that it appear from a trusted source. To detect such false or spoof packet, enterprise companies, they set up routers, firewalls and gateways, which are responsible for examining each incoming packet and verify the source whether it's legitimate or you know fake and this spoofing is a technique that detect packet with false addresses so consider uh, this is your firewall gateway and here the packet is coming from say your internal interface and packet is going on this external interface consider for that okay or oh, okay uh, do it this way packet is going out from the external interface uh, give me one sec packet is going out from this external interface okay there is a chances that packet which is coming to this internal interface will come from some other interfaces and that detects by the spoofing similarly whatever the packets you know uh, coming to this inter external interface okay uh, whether the direction is this way or that way I mean the inbound outbound whatever it is if the packet which is hitting to this interface if it's come from some interfaces which is say uh, you configure as a DMZ or internal whatever it is if packet is hitting to this interface and uh, the IP address which you know uh, look like you know uh, like external interface IP address that thing is got detected in a spoofing I mean in an anti spoofing so basically <clears throat> Anti spoofing. What is anti spoofing? So, anti spoofing is what uh, is is like you know preventing this thing to be get happening. So, earlier it was a form of you know ingress filtering where the IP addresses of the incoming packets are checked. At the age of the network now however it has been proved that the ingress filtering need to be deployed all across the network for effectiveness so the anti spoofing is what the internet service provider or the ISP or the network operator implement in the network in anti spoofing, a system that validates the source address is implemented in infrastructure. 
So basically, it's done to stop spammed or spoof packet with incorrect IP address to enter your uh, network or leave from your network, right? So uh, let's understand how it is. One more time. So say this is your network your internal network external network or whatever the network for now consider it's your internal network here you have firewall and there is a link between this and the traffic is hitting from the cloud or the outside world to this firewall okay now your firewall has different interfaces one is external one interface is internal so this interface is call it as internal and this as external for now so whatever the packet comes from this external side for example usually external interface traffic we get those are the public ip addresses so 201.2.1 for example okay we are hitting here with this IP address but however uh, on the firewall interfaces the IP address which comes look like your internal interface for example your internal interface has the IP address say 192.168.1.1 uh, slash 24 range and the packet which is hitting to your firewall uh, from the external interface, it looks like it's your internal interface 192.168.1.3, something like that. I'm just giving an example for the understanding. So, the packet is obviously hitting to the external interface, and it looks like okay, this packet is your internal interface IP address, you know, some genuine IP address. So, in this situation, firewall thing okay, this is this IP address is something which is in my network. I have configured that and it process that IP address for you know rest of the filterings. But this is not need to be happen. This is not you know this is not a uh, true scenario. So we use the technique called anti spoofing or IP spoofing here. So let's understand uh, the next part which is how we can uh, you know configure anti spoofing on a checkpoint firewall so basically when you go to the uh, security gateway configuration and if you for example these are the gateways what we have configured if you open any security gateway you will see the uh, general property page in general property page if you see there is something called network management this thing when you double click to this network management you will see the different interfaces configured and if you double click to this interfaces you will see uh, different properties of that interface and if you look here there is something called topology and beneath it there is something called anti-spoofing so when you click modify here you will see different options available so let me explain these options so basically this is a configuration for the anti spoofing it asks you okay whether you want to perform the anti spoofing or not here yeah. if you want to perform anti spoofing at what uh, you know action you need to set whether you want to 
put it like a, in a prevent mode or you want to put it in a detect mode okay there is another option as well right so if you select prevent mode so whatever the uh, uh, traffic hit to this interface it will verify for the anti spoofing or for the spoofing attack and based on the algorithm technique what we have with the checkpoint firewall uh, that uh, I, uh, that traffic get prevented you know basically it get dropped and if you want to see that traffic uh, real time if whether it's a dropping or uh, what happening with the traffic if you go to the command line there's a command you can type awctl z debug z debug and then space drop with this command you will see whatever the packets are dropping at the kernel level using the anti spoofing tech uh, feature all right so this is how you can you know just configure the anti spoofing for the interfaces and if you want to track that with the logs you have an option here so you can log it you can do the alerting or you don't want to do anything you can put like a num right so this is what the spoofing how we configure now let's see the different options here what we have number one don't check packet from if you see this option if you select this check box it will not check the spoofing for whatever the networks you will define here whatever the subnets you will define here so if you want or there are the scenarios where we have to you know skip the spoofing you know for the internal network or the external network which are we feel genuine and we don't want to do that because of the some application dependencies you can do that or you can do that exceptions here this is your friend this is your option okay now let's look at these options what we have here what is saying number one not defined so if you have an internal network and it is not defined you can select this but basically we don't do that we only select this option which we have like a override and override you need to select what interface you have so currently this is the external interface so i have selected external interface okay and here uh, ip address behind this interface if you have selected internal network we will talk uh, in a, just a moment but these are the uh, rest of the options for the internal interface if you selected as an internal interface then you have a facility whether uh, you need to define that network defined by the interface ip address or the network marks defined by the uh, routes or you need to define what is the specific network you need to monitor you have to just select this part whether this interface leads to the dmz etc like that so this is what you can you know uh, define uh, whether now let's look into this option whether you have a security zone defined so at what security zone you need to have uh, this spoofing to be configured uh, according to the topology what we have external zone so you can you know define these things as per your requirement okay so if you click this guy it will give you or calculate according to where the interface leads to so these are the something you know hints given by the checkpoint click on uh, let's see what it says let me select it so basically what it says updated topology okay that is that is okay so this is how uh, you can configure the you know anti spoofing on the checkpoint firewall there is some hint i would like to give you for the anti spoofing so whenever uh, we configure the anti spoofing 
the number one thing we need to consider the external network because as per the best practice and what whatever the observation we have so far and this proofing need to be configured and you have to be configured it's a must on your external interface so keep in mind configure the anti spoofing first at the external interface and then you take a call whether you need to have the anti spoofing enabled for the internal interfaces you can put anti spoofing enabled for the internal interface in the detect mode as well uh, if you are sure or you can have in prevent mode depending on your application requirements right so this is what all we have for the anti spoofing uh, as i said if you want to check what packets is getting dropped by the kernel level you have a command fw ctl set debug drop just use this command uh, on expert mode right cli and you will get the output so i hope this video is informative for you and uh, if you like this video please subscribe my channel and press bell icon so whatever the latest upload video will come to you as soon as i'll upload them thanks for watching this video and have a good